Hey there, this is Sahil with Curbside Cycle and we're here today to talk about the Brompton Electric Sea Line. What's the difference between an electric Brompton and just a standard Brompton bike? And who is the electric Brompton really for? Brompton bikes are already great for being able to go just about anywhere with their sturdy steel frames and agile handling. The electric Brompton is made for people who want to be able to travel even greater distances, maybe have some bigger hills or terrain to deal with, or if you're somebody who wants to have a perfect commuter bike and doesn't want to be showing up to that next business meeting all sweaty from pedaling your heart out. One of the other great things about the Brompton Electric versus other e-bikes is you don't really have to worry about theft so much. E-bikes are, after all, expensive pieces of equipment and you wouldn't want to pour all that money into your transportation just to have somebody else waltzing away with it. Rather than locking your e-bike outside, your Brompton Electric can come right inside with you, mitigating the entire issue. So, what actually makes the Brompton Electric different than other Brompton bikes. The Brompton Electric Sea line has been carefully designed over the course of 10 years by Brompton to be optimal for taking a motor. The Brompton Electric uses a front wheel motor, as opposed to a mid-drive motor or a rear drive motor. This provides some distinct advantages. A mid-drive motor would impede the fold of the bike, while a rear drive motor would prevent the use of an internally geared hub. The complication of just slapping a 250 watt motor on the front wheel of a bike though is that it puts a lot of extra torque on the front fork of the bike, which can be structurally problematic. Brompton has addressed this issue, however, by strengthening the front fork so that it can handle the extra pulling force that the motor is putting on it. The Brompton Electric gives you three different levels of assistance, so you can pick exactly how much help you want, and is going to give you about 40 to 80 kilometers on a single charge, depending on which mode you're using. This front motor gives you pedal assisted power to get you up to 25 kilometers an hour. Remember, this isn't a hard speed limit. The bike is able to go faster than this, but 25 kilometers an hour is what the motor will help up to. With the battery on, the bike weighs in at 38 pounds, which is actually very light for an e-bike, and with the battery off, weighs in at 32 pounds. One of the other bonus features that you get with having an e-bike like this is that you have a built-in lighting system. Not only that, but the lighting system reacts to ambient lighting, such as sunlight. This means that there's sensors to tell if there's already bright lights around you, so your lights can turn off to conserve power if necessary, or you can just leave them on all the time if you choose. If you do plan on traveling with the bike, it is worth noting as well that a 300 watt hour battery cannot legally be transported by air. Fortunately, without the battery, the Brompton Electric rides just like a regular Brompton. Remember as well that this is not just a restriction on Brompton batteries or Brompton electric bikes, but this is a restriction that you'd have on any e-bike. So let's talk about the different models of Brompton electric. Starting with gearing choices, you can get your Brompton electric C-Line as either a two-speed or a six-speed bike. Here at Curbside, we only usually stock the six-speed bikes. The two-speed Brompton features a simple external mechanism to toggle between your gears, whereas the six-speed features both this external derailleur as well as a three-speed wide-range internally geared hub. This means that you have an incredibly wide range of gears while also having a lightweight and low-maintenance bike. Beyond that, you also have the choice between two different types of handlebars to make sure that you have the perfect riding posture. You can choose between either the Brompton high handlebar or the mid handlebar to give you the choice between a very upright and comfort oriented position or something that's a little bit more bent over and athletic. Remember that riding posture is something that is very personal. What works for you might not be the same thing that works for another person. If you're not sure what this means for you and what kind of riding position you'll get, don't hesitate to reach out and ask one of our experts. All Brompton Electric C-Line bikes come with black componentry, like the premium black edition Brompton bikes. This means black handlebar, pedals, crank set, everything. The 2022 colors offer two gloss finishes as well as two premium lacquer finishes. The gloss finishes for this year are black and Turkish green, while the lacquer finishes are flame lacquer, which is a more orange tinted lacquer, or my personal favorite, black lacquer. Like any other Brompton C-Line bike, you also have your choice of seat post with the Brompton Electric. For this, we're going to bring in a very special guest, Past Sawhill. The next part of nailing your perfect bike is selecting which seat post is right for you. 
This depends a little less on personal preference and a little bit more on your height and more importantly, your inseam. If you don't know what your exact inseam is, this is something that you want a pretty precise measurement on. Make sure to wear the shoes that you typically see yourself riding in and don't just go off your pants size. Actually break out the measuring tape for this one and figure out exactly what you're looking at. The standard seat post is perfect for smaller to mid-height riders. It can accommodate an inseam from 26 to 32 inches. The standard seat post also drops fully into the frame, allowing for the most compact fold of any of them. The extended seat post is better for taller riders. The inseam range for this is between about 28 and a half and 34 and a half inches. The extended seat post also does stick about six centimeters out of the bike frame when it's fully folded. For traveling, this just means that you're gonna to have to remove the seat post before you put it in a travel bag. Lastly, the telescopic seat post gives the widest range of any of the seat posts and goes even taller than the extended. The inseam range for the telescopic seat post is anywhere from about 27 all the way up to 39 inches. The telescopic seat post also folds very compact, only two centimeters higher than the standard seat post when it's fully folded. This will fit in most travel cases still. The Brompton Electric Sea line bike comes stock with an essentials bag that houses the battery, the charger, and also has a one liter pouch for any personal items that you might have. If you want to carry more items around with you than a one liter pouch can allow, you also have the option to buy the large electric city bag. In addition to just housing the battery and the charger, the large electric city bag has a 20 liter capacity as well as having a separate laptop sleeve. Both bags feature a shoulder strap for easy transportation when you're carrying the folded bike. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content.